in celebration of Youth Month, a lot can be said, and we've been saying a lot. We've been how many years since 1976 now? 45 years. Sure. This year commemorates 45 years since 1976. Man, long time coming. 45 years later, ladies and gentlemen, the youth of South Africa are manufacturing their own computers, manufacturing their own heated uh, tap system that produces hot and cold water. I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm joined in studio by Mpumelelo Mahlangu and my man Tepo Adi Pombo. Sure. That's what they call you. Yeah. Uh, where's your hometown? Sosha. So hold on a second. <laughs> Both of you are from Soshanguve. Sure, sure. The two of you. That's insane. Yo, shout out to Soshanguve, man. It's it's incredible. Like, did you know each other? You both from Sosha? No. No. <laughs> you didn't know? I didn't know. <laughs> so Sosha is a home of manufacturers. Sure. Yeah. So we can literally declare Soshanguve a home of the innovators. Yes. yes. Let's start with your journey. Sure. Tell me about your journey, your desire, or your just you wanting to manufacture computers. When when did it start? Uh, it started when I, while I was growing up, you know, because I, I I was raised by my grandmother, so I was raised they, they raised me using that grand mind. So you know, when you had those friends would have you know your PC or PlayStations, and all. so for me it was like that pressure in life, seeing that you know what. I wish I would have that kind of thing in my life, you know. I wish I would have that PC, I wish I would have that. So it took me a while when I was still in school because I couldn't even afford to go to school. When was the first time you made contact with a computer? <laughs> first time I made contact with a computer was back in 2005. Okay. 2005, I think, oh, yeah. I was at the friend's place, so yeah. I fell in love. I remember he even left me to go buy something at the shop. And you stayed I, with yeah, this computer. I couldn't. He said, accompany me, dude. I was like, ah, nah, I'm not going out, dude. You'll find me here. Dude. Right. You stay here. You'll find me here. So that's when I had love for it. But now the only issue that I had is that when we had conversations with my friends, you know, we had that conversation saying, in your household, there's no brand that is South African brand. That was the biggest issue that we had. Oh. You know? Back then? You know? Wow. So you, you're 27 years old, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so it, it it gave me a push and even when I, I, I got a job as a as a head of quality assurance for a company, a telecoms company, it always rang in my mind to say, you know what, I don't wanna see myself doing this for a long time. Ah, so uh, you did work in telecom spaces. Yes. And your passion for computers. Okay, sure. I get it. All right, so you were introduced to this computer for the first time in two thousand and five. And at that time, that's when this whole romantic relationship between you sure. and computers started. Sure. And raised by a grandma, pension money, could not even walk into Incredible Connection or Hi-Fi Corporation to buy yourself a computer. Sure. <laughs> so you were always, you know, that guy who likes that, who has passion for something they cannot afford. Sure. Very interesting. And now, Tepo Adipompo, uh, Tepo Makato. I don't want people to say Tepo Adipompo, Tepo Makato. Sure, Tesh. Yeah. Sure. And 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 it's been a long journey for you. Very long journey. Why the pompo? Um, the pompo I came about kapompo because of kibo and ahore. There's no um competitor for the giza. Okay. So I always check in the market where which one I can go for and compete with. You understand? So the giza no one. I've no competition. So I said, no, let me try because of Ketlele can heat up Meiji. But Ketlele can only heat up a basin. Yes. Yeah. So I come up with a um, thermostat that can last longer, Kamara Pompo. That cannot limit the heat, yeah, Meiji. So you build the thermostat in your tap. Yes. That enables you to access hot water without a geezer. Yes. Man, that's a promo. Damn. That's hard. Let me see. That's your thermostat. No, this is the element. Okay. This is the thermostat. So, okay. That's like, you're showing me a spaceship. I, I, I won't know what's what. Yeah. At what point? Because a lot of these great ideas are born out of struggle. Mm. You probably that day were trying to access hot water and you couldn't. Yes. What made you go this direction? 
Um, growing up, obviously, a market level was challenging. Like you don't have electricity, so and so obviously, couldn't take home long. Then, over and over and over, like having geysers and everything, but super smart, but the sharp. It was a challenging for me. You grew up with no access to hot water. Yeah. And you made up your mind to say, I'm going to do something with my situation. Mm. And you invented this tap. Yes. That can heat up water without a geyser. Without a geyser. You're a bad boy. Because remember, no one can afford geyser. True. Yes. You see, because it costs about 3.5K. Minimum. Yes. Right. So not every family can have. But with this pump, everyone can have access for it. Because I go to them, I install it, then I leave you with hot water. Just like that? Just like that. Teppo comes to my house. I don't have to have a geezer. He plugs in his whatever, puts some mooty over it, and then next thing I got hot water. Immediately. Three to five seconds to get your hot water. Unlimited. That's, that's, that's what I was going to ask. Yes. In terms of liters, how no, much can not, I access? It does not limit water. Remember at the back, yeah. this is where I connect it yeah. from the cold side. Okay. So when the water comes in, they pass through the element. Right. They come through out here. So they don't limit water. I you see. You can get the hot water like 50 families to 100. Have, has your product gone through the SABS testing models and being verified to say, all right, this can be trusted at home? Because water, electricity, I see some cords in your tap. Yeah. So I'm just thinking from a safety point of view, have we done the checklist for safety? No, not yet. Okay, but, so but I'm so, experimenting if I take your tap. Yeah, yeah. but so far since about I uh, installed about, now I can say like 600 taps. You've installed 600 taps? Yes. Different households? Y yes. How many? Uh, we never have a challenge. Explosions? No. Not a single one? Not a single one. Okay. I'm going to come back to you because I think we need to formalize your expertise. You are talented, you are skilled, mm -hmm. and part of this ch challenge we have um, is talented people not being able to um, capitalize on their skill by putting a proper product offering, you know, packaging, sure. approvals, compliancy. So we're going to talk about that. Okay. I'm interested to know, Mpumelelo, sure. you obviously had a lot of challenges putting your company mm -hmm. dot .connect together. Sure. To be able to manufacture a computer, there's a lot of phases that goes with being compliant and yeah. being recognized by sure. the ICASAs of this world. Yes. Give me the evolution of that journey. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the, the very, uh, let's just say the hard part about this, it was the start of manufacturing yeah. that was the first thing that uh because now in terms of this is like the most expensive industry we can go into manufacturing computers that's the most expensive like let's just leave the testing part the manufacturing part for it to be like this it's a very long process and it's very expensive so what i'm trying to say is that you know there's so many industries that we can go in right as as as, as people if right. we can go in but the fact that it's expensive and we don't have that backup or that assistance from people right we can't even go to that my you question know? to you is in south africa do sure. we have all accessories to complete the motherboard to complete the screens do we have like a one-stop solution place instead of going to the chinese and other parts of the world to build your you know certain parts of a computer is everything available here or you outsource some of the parts abroad now you know when it comes to that you have to outsource because mm. now a lot of manufacturing hubs that are here they only do assembly in terms of oh. building the metaphor and everything so all that's why at the back of apple they say manufactured in china, in china but assembled in california, california. Yes. bam bam <laughs> Actually, i need to drop a bomb on that <laughs> yes Okay. God. Take me through it. So yeah, now the phase, the other phase that is very expensive is the test. You know? So if you know you don't have backup, yeah, you are done. Because now with the test, for me to do test for this laptop, for it to be accredi accredited, I need like 120, 120K. Just to get accreditation? Yes. 120,000? Just for test only. 120K just to get accreditation? Just for test. We haven't gone to the part of ICAS. I'm just talking about test only. 
so sure. you need your e- e- emc tests you need your RF, RF, rf test you need your safety test as well so one of them they cost around twenty five thousand. right twenty five thousand five hundred. so you you're looking at a, you're spending a lot before you can even try to uh sell your product out so you've sure. lost a lot sure man hey man ready bomb you used to um I, I, I like the fact that you're conscious with local brands. I know you supported me with the gin, and I saw you walking in with more fire as well. Sure. Shout out to you. I think that's how we should move. Next time, you know, put some drips or batu sure. uh, shoes on. Thank you. Do you think we're ready? And, and maybe this is for you to answer. Do we trust our own local product when it comes to computers? Because I'm sure you face some resistance from very majority of people. <laughs> Actually, to answer that, uh, in my case, it was different because now I'm getting so much support. Yeah, it's even hard for me to like to try to see how I can I uh, afford to at least try to push the brand or push the product to people. Are you getting a lot of orders, dude? I have orders from Nigeria. I have orders from Zimbabwe. I still have orders from South Africa. I'm getting calls every day. Get out of here! So. Now for me, you're dude, killing it, son. Dude, I have. Look at you. I have you want to have another gold tooth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. Yeah. So yeah. So it's it's. I'm getting a lot of support, especially from big businesses as well. Nice. I'm getting CEOs, group CEOs, call me. So you'll be like, dude, I want the whole office to have your laptop. Nice. You know? So, but it gives me that courage to push now, cause now I'm trying to build another one, which is gonna be a pro smart of this of this model. Of okay, this so cause, cause that was gonna be my next question. What kind of variations do we get from okay. Dot Connect? Okay, this one is for your daily tasks. So the processor is still a bit slow. We mm-hmm. have the N three thousand five hundred, which is Cel- uh, Intel Cel- Celeron uh, uh, processor. Then you're looking at a RAM. You're looking at like six gig. Okay. Your hard drive is SSD, which is sixty four gig. Got it. You know? Sure. So, but now we're busy trying to bring another one, which is going to be an i5, which is like the sixth generation laptop. But we're going to put in... Sixth generation laptop yeah. manufactured from So Shanguve. You know? Yo! <laughs> Shout out to the youth of 2021. Sure. Man. So, yeah, we're pushing, we're pushing, man. This is incredible, man. And your grandma's still alive? Yeah, she's still alive. And she's seeing her pension money went in the right place. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. On the other hand, I'm sure Teppo, I mean, I mean, looking at you, uh, uh, your orders are insane as well. Do you have like a monitoring system of people who you still have to supply? How do you run your day-to-day business? Because Pompo is, wherever there's Mikuku, there's opportunity for you, RDP houses, new establishment, estates, various developments happening all over. Are you linking yourself with developers to say, hey, try my technology out. How are you positioning Tepo Wadipompo to move from being Tepo Wadipompo to being Mr. Tapman? Um, positioning myself, like, at the moment, like, I'm still uh, running, like, via social media. Mm. So this is, like, for me, it's like a 9 to 5 job. Okay. Because, like, every day I have to go and install two to five taps. A day? Every day. How much is to install one tap? It's 900 bucks. Per tap? Yes. Okay. So, like, like now from here I'm going to to, to money, Alex, going to install there. Tomorrow I'm going to Soweto. Like, it's, for me, it's like nine to five. And I expect you not to give me the best answer in this question. Okay. Not because I undermine you whatsoever, but I've seen talented people lacking the actual business acronym to operate as a corporate. Do you have a backup system? Do you have a team? Do you have who's Teppo? Wadipompo, when I call you, do you come in their jean jacket or do you have your guys in their overall? Lalevenia Luna, you have your backup where your warehouse is based. Give me the status of where the business is. Um, I'm asking this because I might invest in your company. Sure. At the moment, uh, Touch, like I'm running it on my own. Okay. Like I don't have any investor, any team. Um, I try to come up with a few guys who can be my agencies. Mm. They get me orders. Then mm. I give them commission for getting me orders. Mm. Yes, because of I wanna do things perfectly on my own and leave the customer happy. 
Okay. You understand? Because of like, if I'm going to take and say, Tash, go and install this thing, uh, Yeah. you're going to make maybe do some wrong thing. And the client will send me a picture and say, Tsepo, this is how it needs to be done. I say, no, uh, something. Then I have to travel. Remember, like I'm using public transport. Hold on a second. So you're still using public transport? Yes. Man. Wow. No wonder why you can only install four to five a day. Yes. And the orders are insane. Yes. All right. What will it take for your company to have three guys that you can train, mm -hmm. develop their skills, mm -hmm. and ensure that you are no longer one body running this one entity, mm -hmm. but you got multiple service providers under Tepo Wadipompo? Sure. What will it take? Have you done any business plan to say this is what I need to take off? Yeah, I've done business plan. Um, I train few guys who can work with me. Mm. Um, for me, like hence I'm saying, like um, they need something professional training. Mm. You understand? Like they need to move with me, like on a daily basis, to do uh, the installation. You understand? Okay. Um, like hence I'm saying, like um, due to public transport, it cost me a lot because of coming from Sosha to Joburg, it cost me like about two hundred rand. Sure. Each. And so if I take you to yeah, if yeah. I take you, then it, 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 it kill my profit. Uh huh. So at some point, the business has to grow. Yeah. And if an investor said, "Tepo, I don't want you using public transportation anymore. I don't want you struggling. What will it take for you to have a running system where you now have two, three guys? You got some form of transportation. What will it take minimum?" Minimum, like, it's about 6 to 12 taps a day. Because remember, like, I always have a special. Like, if I give you a, a tap and I said, like, um, I'm giving you 1.5 for 2. Yeah. So I have to install it, go kitchening, local bathroom. Uh -huh. So it's two in one house. Okay. I always uh, encourage my clients to take two taps. So let me ask you a question then. Those parts. Yeah. The shower head the screws and everything where do you who supplies you um others i get them from uh warehouses okay yeah i okay. can mention their price no 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 for sure yeah the reason why i'm asking is is are they all plastic or we can get stainless steel we can get stainless steel oh it's based on your preference yes, yes. because i'm just thinking a customer yako Houghton yeah. is going to want something different. Something different, You know, yes. um, yeah. they might want the taps to be consistent. And you find everything yeah. quality-wise. Yeah. So it's 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 you can yeah. choose your own option. It's, it's coming. Yeah? It's coming. But those parts are available in case uh, I want a high-end tap? Yes. Fantastic. You can have anything. All right. <laughs> let's let's park it there. Because I really think, um, people like yourself, people like Tepo, you're both from Social Group. Sure. I don't understand why we say we're celebrating youth, but we keep referring to the youth of 1976 as if there was never a baton or there was never some kind of a journey to connect the two. I mean, if I can ask you guys, what did the youth of 1976 do? I'm sure you might not even be able to answer me. <laughs> I'm, but I don't need you to. You're already building computers, but it's important to know your history. Sure. As a young black manufacturer, when was the last time you presented this idea to someone for distribution? Have you knocked at any store to say, can you guys carry my laptop so that Bumerelo's laptops are not sold from the boot of a car? Uh, for now, I haven't uh, approached anyone because now in terms of I wanted it to be, you know, in terms of compliance, I need to be straight on that, you know, mm -hmm. in make, making sure that uh, Ikaza gives me the, 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 that approval of saying, you know what, I think now it's ready. Okay. Because even if I would say I would approach any distribution, uh, UK, Mario, ShopRite or whatever. 100%. You know. But still, if I'm not uh, in terms of the paperwork, I'm, I don't comply. True. For me, it will, will be a waste. It will be a waste. You know? be a waste. So I have, to build, I have to build something which I know that it's going to be a powerful brand. It shouldn't be looked as, as ah, it's just another gussie business. No? Exactly. You know, you have to be corporate. As much as Apple is a real corporate, I'm going to go in there with the same attitude. You know? Nice. So I'm, I want to push my brand. What's the price of Mpumela Lost Computer dot connect laptop? <laughs> DC, is that what it is? 
It's DC, yes. DC. Yes. What's the price of a DC laptop? For now, we haven't, because now we have changed the whole spec. Okay. It won't be this. Now, we, because a lot of people, they're looking at the, your i5. So now, hence why I was saying we're building an i5 now. So we're going to be launching the i5 very soon. That's going to be our first entry level, pushing it for now. How much is the i5 going to cost me, roughly? Trust me, uh, around maybe five, five grand. About 5,000 rand? Yeah. Who is your competitor and what's their price? For now, we comp- we're looking at Acer's, Acer, Acer and your Connex. Yeah, yeah, I saw an Acer the other day for 4,200. Sure. So you might have to be careful. Five no, grand, that's an 800 rand difference. But now you have to check the processor. Well, what, what is their spec? Because okay. now when you charge your, 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 your computer, you just don't charge because of the design, but right. you look at what is inside. Yeah. So you have to check your processor, you have to check your RAM, you have to check the, the drive, the hard drive that they're using. Because there's an SSD. Everyone knows that an SSD doesn't crash. If you have a hard drive for SSD, it doesn't crash. So yours has an SSD? Yes. Um, a hard drive? Yes. It has an SSD input? Sure. Okay. So now you say we have to first interrogate the RAMs, the, yes. the gigs. Sure. But people don't do that. We walk into a store and say, this computer, they, all we are told is it's very fast, processing system is the latest. Anything that means latest means it's the best. How are you going to make sure you communicate that message to your customers to start paying attention to those technical aspects? You know, uh, as you come to that point, uh, I think it's it's very good that we you ask that that very same question, you know, because mm. I'm one person, I'm, on, I'm on, always on social media, you know. So I think it's time for us to start teaching ourselves and being aware of what we buy. Because a lot of people are using iPhone, but if I can ask you, why did you buy your iPhone? You wouldn't ah, tell me. Mm. You wouldn't tell me. No, you know? that's cool. Because you're not brand conscious. Even now, a lot of people don't they didn't even know that the person who designed the iPhone was Steve Jobs. You know, those kind of things. So I feel that we don't pay attention to a lot of things, you know, we just do things, you know. Yeah. So that's where we as Dot Connect are coming in and saying, you know what, let let's just have the learning the, the learning part of this brand. You know, you should know your brand. You should know who did this brand. You should know what does it offer. You should know what is the CPU. You understand? Mm. So then, when you buy something, now you know that ah, yeah, this thing won't work for me. You know, because a lot of people, I mean, I bought so many HPs. I have so many HPs at home. Right. And they all broke. Because I wasn't brand conscious. I was just buying because it's th- for the fact that it's just an HP. You told somebody the other day that the reason why you're going into manufacturing because sure. you want to change a narrative that black people are not good manufacturers. Why? Yes. Uh, I've, I've been in, in the business uh, industry for a long time. I've done... Um, yeah, man, you're only 27. What do you mean you've been I, in this thing for a long time? You know, when I started my You're first, 27 years old. I started my first company what do you when mean I was been in a, grade 7. You say you're one of those artists who drop an album and they call themselves a legend. <laughs> no, I'm not a legend. Okay. But I've been uh, uh, in business underground. My first business was a reptile rescue company. Reptile? I was rescuing snakes. You know why? Stop, you know why? Stop, stop. You know why? Hold on a second. <laughs> so, first of all, you're from Soshangube. Sure. You used to what? Rescue reptiles. Yes. We get rescued from reptiles. <laughs> you rescue them? <laughs> sure. Let's do it. No, the thing is, I'm look for me is that, you know, I don't know if when you watch a movie like Matrix, The Matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I'm I don't name. know when you watch a movie, wh- how, do you, how do you watch it? Like, do you look at with the message? Pop, with popcorn. You know? But for me is that there was a part where Neo and Morpheus they were walking and there was a group of people walking uh, past uh, them. Past yeah. them, you know? Yeah. Now, how I view myself, mm. I'm like Morpheus and Neo. I don't walk the same path you can walk. You mm. know? If you know that the business for reptiles is not for you, for me, it's like I, I would go for that. Okay. You know, okay. I don't want to do the same thing that people are doing. Okay. You know? Then so all of us are agents right now. Agents, yeah. And you are the truth. You Neo. <laughs> so you're talking to an agent right now. All right, fine. You just happen to be in the business of rescuing reptiles. Sure. Do you know nobody from the hood? I grew up in the hood. I grew up in Shawville. You're the first black kid I've met in my life. The first black man I know of. 27 years old today, saying that their first job was to rescue reptiles. How old were you? Yeah, I was still in, I think, uh, China secondary. <laughs> I was still in grade seven. I think that was that was my first. Stop first it right there. Either you suicidal, <laughs> or you had serious. At grade seven, sure. 
your job was to rescue reptiles and at some point you started manufacturing computers dude are you off to space soon like you sound like you're on the same path as elon musk and i i respect you for that except the reptile part <laughs> so at grade seven you must have been 13 years old right sure you were not scared of snakes no <laughs> even today i'm not afraid of them really i know this interview is not about snakes how do you know that this snake this particular snake is not in a bad mood like t give me that quickly because i live in a state that has snakes you know uh definitely what you need to check is that snakes they differ you know you have your construct uh, constructors you yeah. have your venomous snakes you know mm -hmm. but you only know the difference in terms of the the way the the, the head is shaped and after they bite you no that's man. when you know if it had venom no, or not because now in in thing, what we know is that the most venomous snakes which are dangerous is your mozambique spitting cobra okay uh wrinkles which is another it's a spitter mozambican what Sp spitting cobra Mozambique is spitting cobra. You, uh, wrinkles. Wrinkles. Yeah. Then you, some people, in terms of the households, what the snakes they, they get is like your brown house snake, which is it's not harm. It's not harmful. You know? Really? It's, yeah. You, even that bite, it won't hurt you. It won't do anything to you. You know. So you have to learn. D man. It's like it's like it's like you know, the problem is that in terms of us, we, when we do things, we don't want to learn the form of things. You know. Mm. We just want to do things. Mm. We don't want to learn to get to I this like point that. how do i have to move okay so you've always been unconventional yes you went into the snake reptile industry at the age of 13. at what age did you start manufacturing computers uh, i started three years ago which was 20 24. yeah shout out to you man and your first operation was it successful nope how many i had to change uh, a lot of things i burned so many i think four laptops already you burned yeah it okay crashed the sum of got burned okay because it got the wrong specs yeah really <laughs> all right mind. so Seppo, while 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 uh Bumelolo was playing with reptiles sure what were you doing growing up like um koha in a little vein so ah no club ah next up club okay <laughs> yeah no i can buy Ne? Yeah, and I keep myself full time. Like so, the look at business has always been in your DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah from alcohol to water. Yeah, nice. Yes, yes. So growing up, like after losing my parents, then um, I had to move to Jersey, mm. and then like have to move and then check a couple of miles and Then checking through uh, following Sbu, like and I said, like I need to push. Uh, something from him and learn a lot from him. Mm. Then I pushed Leadership 2020. Mm. Yeah, his book. Then going forward, uh, more fire. Nice. Yeah. Then after more fire, then I joined for the eight gen. Nice. You see. Nice. Then uh, yeah. Then going back social. Then I said no. Let me uh, go do something on my own because of I can't always milk on this big. Uh, uh, um, what he was who. Hundred percent. Yeah. Let me do my own thing. Then I came up with Pombo. Well, so so you came up with this idea it's, 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 did you have the ability to put it together or you were just chilling at home going through all this you know fluctuating uh, 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 roller coaster moment of thoughts and ideas or what really sparked that moment say hey I can put the tap together uh, for me like you know like um, I started with a uh, I could feel social. I didn't have electricity, so the electricity was cut off. Okay. Then, I I I I, I had like get mm. Always like have to go go neighbor and couple of black lane. For so sure. That. And at some point, but in there. But in there. So I was like, okay, let me take this get lele, get calculate, then check what's happening inside. You kidding? Yeah. My boy. What? Yeah. Then you can you can see whatever you see here. It's everything you find in the kettle. kettle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, then I had to like get the heavy element for this. Well, well, that Unbelievable. That can, can run like water um, full time. Then like, kaba pizilo na until I win it. Yeah, I failed so many Were times. Were you a technician, I mean electrician before? No. What made you think you have the how to? You know, like, I'm asking this question because guys, there's a strong relationship between like you know if you can some best ideas are born out of the biggest or the most 
or painful uh, experiences in life. But I don't want it to always rely on the formula that pain is a prerequisite for power or a prerequisite for innovation. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But I respect that. Like you had to be in that state of mind for you to. Yeah, at some point you have to take risk in life. Yeah. Yeah, you have to go like all out. If you fail, you you forced until you win it. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Then I took those risks and I said, you know, if I've started it, then I have to win it. As Is it possible to have this technology? solar based instead of having an electronic i'm trying to avoid a plug next to bombay amit if you understand what i'm saying remember like if it's like this touch yeah um you can also plug it with solar okay yeah but your solar needs to be like um 1.5 watts yeah. inverter i get you yeah but the the cord we can extend the cord aha uh -huh, to yes. keep it distant from the actual yes. console yes that's Good. what yeah the cord you can cut it right because of like uh, the cable cord we call that cable cord 1.5 cord okay it's not the same like the air extension i see they differ because that one is more thicker okay it's okay. strong enough aha uh -huh. yes. so it can survive yes any okay great so can we make this cord longer yeah we can fantastic yeah fantastic just like I'm going to ask a multi-million rand question. What will 150,000 do for your business? Yeah. First thing first. If somebody came and said, here's 150, what, what, what will it do to your business? What will be the first thing to transform your balance sheet? First thing first is to get the bike. Okay. For transportation. To bring more sales. Mm. And the other thing is to get more stock. Got you. Yeah. Okay, how many tabs can you assemble a day if you had the bike and stock? 20 to 30 a day. 20 to 30 a day. Yeah. And it's 1,500 for each. Two. For two. For two. Okay, not a bad business. Not bad. That's like you selling three computers a day. Sure. Kinda. <laughs> if he's making 30K, if your computer, well, it's about six computers a day Very for sure. you. Yeah with a lot of more work. Yeah. So he's working less. Yeah, me, stress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because me, like, it takes like 20 minutes to install. 20 minutes to install. Yeah. It takes him a couple of uh, computers to burn. Some might explode. Some might go wrong. Yeah. But risk is part of the investment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Sure. I think these are the things we must train ourselves and be comfortable with failing. Sure. You know? We must accept it because it's part of the land. It's part sure. of the process. I like the fact that you burned a couple of computers before. Okay, before we close, give me your direction 2021. I am sure when this year started, dealing with COVID, there were certain limitations, you know, as far as getting your product out there. Yeah. But now we've gotten used to this pandemic and it's, you know, it, whether it's here to stay, we're here. Sure, sure, sure. What are we doing as in Pumalet? Yeah, for me, it's to... Uh, do more laptops mm -hmm. just make sure that I improve the brand and making sure that uh, the hub it's built because now I'm tired of uh, making sure that uh, doing these things of taking it to China for manufacturing and also those kind of things Kay. I want everything to be done in here in SA you know I want to burn my own things I want to do everything here so gotcha. it has to be fully South African gotcha yeah man. Mr. DePompo sure um, for me it's such like um, is to get the warehouse where then I can create uh, more jobs for youth and then train them the skills for Pompo. And then, like, we're going to bring more um, Pompos with uh, new designs for even the suburbs. Yeah, because remember, like, <laughs> um, yeah, like, I'm having, ch I, I had a few challenges because of, like, I'm going to like a Pompo equality, then I have to remove it. Yeah. You yeah. see, they say, no, I love my tab. Yeah. You see, so I have to come up with that gold tap and say, gotcha. I have this one for you. Yes. You see. Nice. Then I have to replace that tap. But I'm going to say this, guys. Both of you, I've, I, I, like, I'm inspired to an extent that I need you to do well. Sure. You, you. you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. It's not like I want you to. I need you to do well. It's, it's important you make it. It's important that next time when we talk, you are not where we last left sure. it at. So let's go out there and get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dot Connect is your brand. Make sure uh, when you hear of this particular brand, 
that you're ready to pay for it because you're plowing back into culture and so does uh tepo are we gonna get it a new brand yeah 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 let's start thinking about the brand sure yeah because tepo are sounds like playful stuff yeah definitely yeah we gotta take yeah. it serious now sure ne? sure i got some advertising students that can probably work out something for you oh, okay. even branding and stuff like that is that okay definitely let's Thank look you. into it sure ladies and gentlemen staying in touch with inspirational messages and stories we got so much to offer in this country and the rest of the world i think african youth must just emancipate and shout out and your phone is ringing at the right time at the end of the interview so you can take that call Maybe that's an order. Don't cancel it. <laughs> was that an order? <laughs> what was your phone? It's mine. Ah, when it's a Chinese guy asking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Sure, awesome.